Every American citizen has at one point in their lives grabbed a hot dog. Some even claim the hot dog is as American as apple pie and baseball. Hot dogs are the most widely sold sausage products in the country, and they're the first choice of fast food at every cookout and barbecue. They're convenient, you can eat them with one hand while doing something else, and they are delicious. Glycemic Index and Glycemic Load of Hot Dogs As you know, the glycemic index of foods is a measure used to determine food substances that are safe for consumption of diabetics, those that can be eaten in minute quantities or once in a while, and those that should be eradicated from a diabetic's diet. The glycemic index of a food can either be low, medium, or high. Foods with a low glycemic index have a glycemic index within 0 to 55. Those with medium glycemic index have glycemic index between 56 and 59, while those with high glycemic index have a glycemic index of 60 and above. The glycemic load is also categorized into low, medium, and high. With glycemic load between 0 and 10 for low, 11 to 19 for medium, and 20 higher for foods with a high glycemic load. The hot dog has a glycemic index of 85 and a glycemic load of 27.6, which makes it unhealthy and unsafe for people with diabetes. So there you have it, you can either completely eradicate hot dogs from your diet or limit the rate you eat it to once in a year or more. Do hot dogs raise blood glucose levels? Hot dogs are rich in carbs. When carbs are introduced into the body, they are converted into glucose, which is the primary source of energy and improves the functionality of body organs and systems. But as with every good thing, glucose is only good when in moderation, and excess amounts of glucose in the body, which is the leading cause of diabetes, results in a spike in blood sugar in people with diabetes. Hyperglycemia in diabetics is a cause of many complications, including high blood pressure, stroke, heart-related diseases, diabetic ketoacidosis, diabetic hyperosmolar syndrome, insulin resistance, and diabetic coma. To avoid these conditions, you have to manage your blood sugar levels quite well, which means avoiding foods that increase the risk for this disease, including hot dogs. Hot dogs and high blood pressure Hot dogs are very high in sodium, and although sodium in moderation is essential to the body when in excess, it is detrimental and can lead to high blood pressure. When you consume too much sodium, your body retains water to wash off all the excess sodium. This causes an excess of surrounding fluid cells and the volume of blood in the bloodstream, causing the heart to work harder to pump blood around the body. This exerts pressure on the heart and blood vessels, which increases blood pressure. People with diabetes are to check their blood pressure regularly, and a person with diabetes shouldn't have a blood pressure reading of more than 130-80. People with diabetes are usually advised to reduce their sodium intake so that there is a reduction in the risk of having high blood pressure. Diabetic patients with high blood pressure have increased risks for diabetic complications, like retinopathy, diabetic disease of the eye, nephropathy, diabetic disease of the kidney, neuropathy, diabetic disease of the neurons, heart disease, and other circulatory problems. Although most diabetics are likely to have high blood pressure, not all of them will. Also, reducing your sodium intake will reduce the likelihood of having high blood pressure early and improve your health.